As exciting as potential travel to other planets is, we still need to take care of the one we call home. Earth Day may be only once a year, but we can do things all year long to make sure we're doing the least amount of damage possible. Hello, I'm Allie, the literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I normally create projects inspired by the books I read. Inspired by one of my most recent reads, I came up with five ideas that we can use our sewing skills to give this planet we live on a big hug. Let me show you. First, make a template to keep your towels consistent. You will cut terry cloth and flannel into 11 inch squares. Pair up your terry cloth and flannel right sides together so you can batch sew. Sew three of the sides on each side. Reach inside and turn right sides out. Tuck in the open end of the towel And don't forget to pull out the corners. Finish clipping or pinning together for each towel. Top stitch closed and around the entire towel. Stack all the towels together facing the same direction. Use an awl to puncture through all of the towels at the same time. Then install the same part, male or female, in the same corner until all of that corner are complete. Repeat for all three remaining corners, alternating parts, male up, female down. Match up your male and female parts, then snap together. Sandwich your zipper between one piece of the main fabric and one piece of the ripstop. Make sure to match up the ends with the edges. Sew as close as possible to the zipper. Fold back and repeat for the other side. Top stitch both sides of the zipper right sides up. Right sides together, sew up the sides of the lining in the main. Sew over the zipper unless it's a metal zipper. Make sure the zipper is open before the next step. After you've sewn the sides, sew the bottom of the main fabric. Reach in through the lining and zipper and pull the main fabric through. Pull out the corners. Tuck in the lining toward the wrong side. Top stitch closed. Tuck in the lining and zip closed.
If you would like to add a decorative edge to your straps, press both 18 inch strips, then fold the long edges to the middle and press again. Raw edges to the inside, clip to the webbing. Top stitch 1 8 inch from the edge. Fold the lining fabric in half, selvage to selvage, right sides together, sew along the long sides, repeat for the main fabric. Pull out the fabric at the fold, line up the fold with the side seam, mark a line 4 inches from the center seam creating a triangle. Do this for the other three corners. Sew along this line. For the main fabric, use a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. For the lining, use a half inch seam allowance. If you're not using a serger, trim off the excess. Shove the lining into the main fabric, wrong sides together. Line up your seams at the top and bottom, clip them together. Fold the selvage over 1 half inch toward the wrong side for both the main and the lining. Clip in place. Measuring from your seam, mark then place one end of your straps, then do the same for the other end. Flip over and do the same for the other side. Top stitch 1 8 inch from the edge. I like to sew over the straps a few times for extra strength. Sandwich both pieces of tulle between the flannel and cotton, right sides toward the tulle. Sew three sides together. Clip the corners. Reach between the flannel and the closest tool, turn right sides out, poke out the corners. Stuff the polyfill between the inside of the flannel and cotton. Once stuffed to a medium density, tuck in the raw edges and clip shut. Top stitch the end closed, back stitch across the entire length. Squish the stuffing around evenly. One inch from the edge, sew a rectangle in the middle. Right sides together, sew both long sides and one short side together. Clip the corners, then turn right sides out. Tuck in the open edges, fold the elastic in half and clip in place. Top stitch closed. Measure 3 inches from the sewn end. Fold the bottom end up to meet that point. Top stitch 1 8 inch from the edge on all three sides.
divide into four sections about one inch apart. Sew along each line you've marked. Make sure to backstitch at the opening to keep your thread secure through repeated use. All right, who's ready to take a few steps to help protect Mother Earth? Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. You may also be interested in my zero waste microwave popcorn solution. So why don't you head on over here and see how that works. And while you're there, check out a few more sewing tutorials. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness. And we'll see you next time.